Hey guys, I'm Labyrinth and these are my top five soundtracks to soundtrack your life on the fader. So my number five is Gladiator, um, composed by Hans Zimmer. In most movies, they're not always great at creating a motif that's like an airworm. And for me in Gladiator, they were subtle, but it still was an airworm um, motif that they had kind of running through the whole movie. So I really enjoyed it for that. And then just just, just made me feel emotional. And I, like if, if a soundtrack can do that or emote something in you, then um, I feel like it's a winner. There's a moment in the Gladiator where he's basically leaving to Elysium, which is heaven in Rome. And so when he starts to kind of leave the earth, you can kind of see him almost returning home. And the soundtrack underneath that just felt like this This is exactly what, what you needed to hear when you were watching that moment. If I was dying and that was playing, I would be like, yo, you got me. <laughs> and my number four is Straight Out of Compton. I wasn't alive at the time, but just you feel the nostalgia listening to the records um, that are played. Hip hop was created out of other in, uh, music or um, um, inspired by other samples or sounds. For them to do that with the movie as well, for me, was kind of poetic as well. There was one record they played at the start of the movie, which is Everybody Loves the Sunshine by Royers, and my head just fell off. I've never heard that song in, a, in the cinema, so to just, to just start a movie off with that record was just like, that was like, okay, cool, you got me. My older brothers were playing those records and um, like just uncles and stuff like that. So it just kind of, it brings back memories. It felt like they were like looking at old photos every time I heard a song in, in that movie. So I was, it had to be my um, number four. Mary Poppins. Um, my number three is Mary Poppins. Um, a lot of people <laughs> might be confused why, but I literally grew up on that movie. I loved that the soundtrack was insanely hooky. Um, and I think at that time, a lot of 1960s kind of like musicals were very like, it was like people need to be walking out of the, the cinema whistling like, <laughs> like sometimes just as like, uh, like a family joke, we kind of would just be like, just a spoonful of sugar or like, um, what is it? Flipping, step in time, step in time. Like all of, the, all of the songs from that movie have inspired like different things, even in music for me, like if I want to do something silly, I, I have that Mary Poppins like trigger in my brain that it was just like, okay, how could I twist that? Or how could I use that style or approach um, um, to like production, you know? And, and people may not hear it in what I do, but it's definitely inspired the way I do some of the things I do in production. My number two is Edward Scissorhands. A lot of the soundtracks I've chosen are very heavily inspired by my childhood. Um, and um, nostalgia for me. A lot, of, a lot of this stuff, they bring me back to certain moments in my life. Um, and Edward Scissorhands, I, I enjoyed the film because it was like a um, an odd or misfit um, character, kind of going through this journey where he's, he, he becomes loved and hated and, and all of these things that, uh, that go on. And I've had my own experience of that. So I felt like that movie was a really great um, kind of representation of that. And in the soundtrack, there was silliness in it, but there was also darkness, there was also horror, and all of these different feelings um, in the soundtrack that I really enjoy. And I, I love um, juxtaposed composition, where it's just like, that's supposed to be a lovely childlike sound, but you've made it feel like sinister, you know? Um, and that inspired a lot of the stuff I did on, on Euphoria. My number one is Once Upon a Time in America, it was a long movie, but you wanted to go for the ride. And I enjoyed that the soundtrack kept this almost, I think it was almost four hour movie. Writing music today in pop, it's gotta be a one minute song or a two minute song. So to write something for like four hours is like insane. And so I also had this airworm in my, in my head when I left. Um, and I love that they used the piccolo flute. Like a, it just felt like an odd thing to use, but it works so well and it kind of told the story and and because the film is about memories and about returning to old memories and old thoughts and old experiences that created the man that you are now and um, the flute kind of felt like that reoccurring thought and it, it, it really represented that moment so i enjoyed seeing how they they um, depicted that with the sound you know mm -hmm.